Good morning, YouTube. So this is the area by my lathe where I do a lot of work in my shop. In the summer, it gets kind of hot and sticky over here because it, it doesn't get a lot of airflow. If I have the garage door open, there'll be a little bit of airflow coming through this way, but it doesn't get back in this corner. I was just kind of thinking it would be nice if I could put a fan up under here. Ultimately, I'm going to build some cabinets up over the top here. I've got the frame in place for the cabinets. I've got some of these PC case fans, 120 millimeter, and something like right there. And if we look up there, right in there, I've got 12 volts coming off of my solar battery bank. These things take 12 volts. So I could probably design something, you know, get some metal and spend a couple hours making something for that. But let's go take a look on the computer and see if we can find something that might work there. Okay, so I jumped over to Thingiverse and searched for 120 millimeter PC case fan bracket and this is what I found here. So this was put up by Corrugator Super Chill in March 2015. I went over here and downloaded the files. And then I came over here to Cura and I was able to fit all the parts. Again, I think this is the floor or table standing bracket and then this is the wall bracket. I wasn't sure exactly which I needed so I basically printed one each and then you have to print two of each side bracket and then I printed out the grill. I might end up using one of my metal grills but I figure I'd print theirs out and see which one works the best. Okay here we are a couple hours of printing and here's the uh, 120 millimeter case fan bracket parts. This is ABS plastic. I did not use any brim or supports and the very corners of some of these have lifted up a little bit because ABS you do get a little bit of warping. So you can see like that corner, I think those came out pretty good. So let's go downstairs and see if we can figure out how to uh, put this thing together. Okay, there we go YouTube, all put together. So I used a couple of longer drywall screws to go through. So you go through the grill, through the bracket, and then out the other side. One of those goes on each side here. And then I used a couple of the fan shroud screws here on the top to hold the grill in place. And then you use a couple of small wood screws. I use number six by five eighths, but I imagine there's a metric equivalent to that. The Rotating parts snap in there. These brackets on the side snap over the base and then you just run a couple of screws in there to hold it in place. And then for power, what I did, I put a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter power jack over here, drilled an 8 millimeter or 5 16 hole. And then I run my wire over here. I use the original fan connector on this side and then this particular fan gives you a mating connector. It's mainly meant as an extension or a, a Y cable, but I just cut that off and I soldered that to a small switch here. And so this will be mounted upside down, actually this way. So what I'll do for mounting, I'll show you that in a bit. I'll put a screw and a large washer here and that'll let me rotate this. But for now, you can set it up as a floor stand and let's flip the switch there we go so next step is I got to install this out underneath the cabinet and we'll see how it works okay I got the fan mounted I just reused a wood screw that I had holding that strap and I put a fender washer and that spans the gap between the two parts of the floor stand so that way I can uh, rotate the fan to point towards me and then it's got the rotating on that axis so that gives me two adjustments I can make as far as uh, having it point at my face. I put my switch up here so I can reach it from underneath the uh, cabinet opening there. 
kind of added a little bit of an air duct here. I took some aluminum duct tape and then cut off half of the backing paper and stuck that around the outside of the fan, kind of direct the air more forward. The switch is right here. Flip it on. And there I've got the fan running. And it's running on solar power. I have the cable coming out of there, comes down through the back of the cabinet, and then up to my power distribution point there. So that fan's running on solar power. So yeah, that was pretty easy. Found the uh, fan bracket there. I had the fans left over. I had one of these uh, coax power plugs. The fans came with all the cabling and connectors you need. I had a whole bag of these switches and I had a bunch of this 14-2 speaker wire from Monoprice. I did not have to purchase a single thing and yeah, I made everything up out of things on hand. Yeah, I'll put a link to this on Thingiverse in the video description if you want to print one of those yourself. Really nice design with these locking, rotating uh, hinge there. And the, the lights here are solar powered. And I have my solar powered uh, spotlight over here. But yeah, there's the uh, spotlight over there. That lights up the chuck area of the lathe. And then I've got the overhead lights are solar. And now the cooling fan is solar. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Great uh, model on Thingiverse. Hats off to the designer. Yeah, if you have any questions about that, uh, post up in the comments section below. And be sure to check out some of the other videos. I'll put some recommended videos on the side there. And as always, thanks for watching.